Hey guys, what's up? So <coughs> I got this in the mail today. It's a programming cable for my uh, this radio here. I got I did a review on this, uh, not a really in-depth review, but it's actually a really nice radio. I love it. It's all color display and it's a, it's a, a tiny little radio that fits under my uh, computer monitors right here. And <coughs> sorry, I'm kind of I'm still fighting a cold here, but yeah, the cable uh, I bought on Amazon, but this is the actual original radio. I got $122. Pretty nice radio, you know, color. Yeah, you don't normally get color screens for that kind of a uh, price. And then this is the actual cable. I'll put links in the description of where I got this stuff. But the software is actually kind of tricky to get. It's, it's the, the device is not supported in Trip yet, so that kind of sucks because you normally use Trip to program everything. But because I want to program this radio, I'm not. I'm not I can't wait for Trip to. Tri, I don't know. I'm sure Trip's even never going to support this radio or not. So I can't wait six months or a couple months to see if they will because I know people have put in requests or inquiries in uh, about a year ago when this radio first came out so so I'll show you the, uh, the software and where I get it and I'll put a link where I can get it where you can get it but all right so I'll put a link to this it's called like OneDrive and I, I don't do some searching for a while to get this but you want to go in the software folder and then under any tone and you want to get this version 2 right here AT78 or AT778UV setup 2.0 RAR. So that's the latest version of that software. And, um, okay, cool. Awesome. Um, so let's plug right program. So <coughs> to get this uh, in there, I'm going to have to <coughs> remove the mic here. So because this is an RJ45 plug. So I have to basically remove the mic out, and that's the RJ45 plug. And like I said, I've never even actually, I haven't programmed this device yet, but. I've actually programmed other uh, QYT radios and stuff. The software looks very similar to those. those to the, I think the Chinese radio companies probably uh, contract out this one company because even with the QYT, it looks almost exactly the same as the Anytone. So, okay, yeah, it's plugged in the front of it. I'm going to plug it in. And I don't know what's going to happen here. It's probably most likely a prolific driver. Okay... I'll have to go to control panel here. I'll bring this over here. Um, okay, what we're looking for is make sure this thing actually has a COM port. I gotta figure out what that is. Okay, let's see here. Uh, device manager. Bring this over so you guys can see it. Yeah, what I'm looking for is COM ports. Okay, cool. I found it on COM6. Okay, so let's uh, fire up the software real quick and see what happens. So, hold on a second. It's, you gotta find it on my desktop. It's called the, yeah, there it goes. It, it popped up and I had to bring it to the screen here. All right. So, the first thing we need, need to do is, I guess I've never even done this before, so I have no clue what's gonna happen here. Well, obviously I gotta turn the radio on first. Let's see. So I know it's COM6. So, and right, right now I actually have my local crazy repeater on right now. Let's read from the radio. Can't open communications port. Let's see. Edit. to com port. Okay. Okay. Alright. Read from radio. Can't open communications port. Why not? <clears throat> Alright. Well, I guess I'll have to figure that out. Alright guys. I think I just didn't have the thing clicked in far enough. The RJ45 plug. So let's go program. Yes, I want to read from the radio. Version is wrong. Oh. Yeah, there's basically no documentation for this software, so. <clears throat> read data failed. Right, well, if you guys get, you might, might get the same thing as I am. I don't know. So now i got to figure it out. So I guess I'll be back. All right, guys, so I actually went back and I downloaded version one of the software. And let me fire that up real quick. Uh, the one in this folder right here. And it looks like I'm getting a similar problem. Just I'm getting a different problem. So I'm back on. Uh, make sure this is set com six. Okay. And I, actually, I, 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 you can't even get the software from their website. I mean, on any tone's website, I can't find it anywhere. So read from radio. Yes. 
check connection, retry, or cancel. That's version one of the software. Uh, and also give me a bad cable. Let's go back and hit the version two of the software. So if I hit version two, the cool thing is I can actually have them install both at the same time. Read. Okay, version is wrong. So how annoying is that? Um, two different versions of the software. Um, my it looks like I'm in PC mode, so I guess I can always verify. I mean, it looks like these are punched down correctly. The RJ45 plug. So if you guys, let me see if I can see that. You know, I do actually I do voice and data cabling for a living, so <laughs> I punch these down all the time. But yeah, it's on pin. Uh, it looks like it's pin one and pin eight are actually punched down there. So. Look at that back in. So yeah, if you're wondering, uh, I always put links to my uh, my businesses and on the bottom. They're the kind of they're the ones that actually sponsor the videos. <laughs> they buy all the hardware for these things. So, all right. So both version one and version two didn't work. Um. Alright, I guess I'll try some, I'll just keep on messing with it and see if I can figure out something, but when I figure out something, I will be back. Alright guys, finally figured it out. So, there's actually a bunch of different versions of software that looked exactly the same. <clears throat> you have version 1, version 2, then there was also a Russian version. And uh, that's actually the one I got it to work, so let me show you which version. I have a whole bunch running here. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, I'll show you the site. So this is actually the one that I actually got to work. So let me see. I want to change the model information. And two. And I'm gonna read from the radio. <clears throat> so finally, I can read. So I actually found this software. Like I, I can't find this software on the manufacturer's website. So let me. Uh, it's right here. So it's uh, I'll put that link in the description too. So radio scanner RU. So if you're having the same issue as me, this version right here is actually what worked. So I don't know if you can see my mouse, but it's eight T. But I'll put a link in where you can get it. So all right. So let's go back to the software here. And um, all right. So I don't know if this is old software or this is. I mean, the other one seems a lot more advanced. The version two. CVFO, so I can set lights, um, sounds, embedded messenger, I don't know what that is. Alright, well, let's see. I guess for me, the most important th thing for me right now, so I can adjust those little buttons on the front of the mic, you know, like a, like little mic buttons right there, you know, you can adjust the, like they're kind of like hotkeys, you can program them. Um, so like on the bottom right here, it says PA, uh, down there, PA, that's, that's your mic. Um, functional setup. So I'll have to play with this to figure it out. But for me, I, I just actually want to put these, uh, frequency in here. So <clears throat> I will have to figure that out, but TX power, low, high, I'm guessing that's, Oh, that's cool. So I guess if you click double click on the channel, you can actually bring it up on a second window. And okay, cool, cool. Scouch mode, carrier, da 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 da, da DTS, power low, channel spacing, channel name. All right, so I have to actually copy my other list from Trip. I don't know if I can do it manually or. Yeah, I have to do one by one. I have over 100 things programmed. I have GMRS, FRS, my local uh, Los Angeles Police Department. Um, I have... Uh, what else do I have? Um, all like my repeaters here locally. Uh, Marine Band, Mirrors. 
and what else? Yeah, a couple of different things in there. I'll show it to you maybe when I get back to it. But yeah, I'm gonna have lots of programming here, so uh, maybe take me a day or so. I wonder if there's a way I can import it. Like I said, there's no manual for the software, so at least I can't find one. Like if I have to go to a Russian site to get the software. He needs batteries. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, there's no manual, and I wish there was a way I could import. Yeah, this version 1 software doesn't seem nearly as sophisticated as the other one, so. Alright, I will be back. Hey guys, back here. Um, let's see what we got here. So, um, finally done with this, this list. Uh, if any of you guys want to let me know. Uh, I mean, this is really specific to this. New Anytone radio, the AT778 UV. It took me actually a couple days just because I was getting so tired of this set of the video frame here. Um, okay, so what do we got? So I have FRS, GMRS, PMR, Mirrors, the Marine Bands. I actually do live near the beach, so I can actually pick up all the boats. I mean, I'm actually, the ocean's like right outside there. I can actually see the water from my house. So, um, so I can pick up the Marine Channels, PMR, Marine, then I have, um, the Weather Channels right here. I don't know if you guys can see the, uh, mouse, but then I have, uh, some rescue, like rescue, like mountain rescue, some emergency ham channels, UHF emergency, and then I have a couple of different Big Bear repeaters, Keller Peak, Catalina, Corona, Signal Hill, Palos Verdes, and I have a, this is like Long Beach uh, Police Department. So it's kind of like, acts like a scanner. Um, yeah, I, actually, I don't, I wonder if there's some kind of safety measure to transmit on those frequencies, because uh, that seemed like that would be a major bad one. I mean, obviously, it'd be transmitting on a police frequency. So, yeah, I don't know if there's some, some kind of hardware that prevents me from transmitting on those, or you just don't do it, but... Um, Oh yeah, then also have Santiago or uh, yeah, Santiago or Santiago Peak, um, and that's actually the that that four three five the famous repeater that uh, it's kind of crazy. So done with this man. It took a while. I mean, I wish I could use Chirp, but I keep on going back to Chirp's webpage, and they haven't support this. They don't support it yet. So this radio has been out for over a year. So hopefully they finally support it because I'd much rather use Chirp. But if you guys want this list, you know, like I said, it took me a couple hours to put together. Yeah, I'll just upload it to you, give it to you. Um, I still got to mess with some of the offsets here on the uh, repeaters, but but yeah, the majority of it's done. So, all right, let me know. Cool. Um, yeah, well, I can't remember the uh, version. What was the software? The uh, version one. So. Um, so cool guys, awesome, awesome.